During the mechanical rough-in inspection, one of the most important conservation features to check is the duct sealing and insulation. This plays a significant role in the efficiency of the heating and cooling system. The code requires that all joints, seams, and connections be securely fastened and sealed. Welds, gaskets, mastics or adhesives, and mastic plus embedded fabric systems are all acceptable. Listed and labeled tapes can also be used, but duct tape is not permitted as a sealant on any ducts. This applies to supply and return ductwork and to plenums that are formed by part of the building envelope. All longitudinal and transverse joints, seams, and connections of supply and return ducts are required to be properly sealed. Proper duct sealing will ensure the proper quantities of heated or cooled air will be delivered to the space and not be lost to unconditioned spaces or outdoors through leaks in the ducts. Remember, ductwork that is designed to operate at a static pressure in excess of 3 inches WC must be leak tested according to specific industry standards. Those ducts must be noted on the plans. Testing information can be found in ASHRAE 90.1 Appendix E. Finally, check the code to verify the insulation level for your climate zone. The level will vary based on climate zone and location of the ducts. The code also requires that the insulation R value be printed on the duct insulation every three feet. It should be easy to compare the installed duct insulation R value with what is shown on the plans. A properly sealed duct system with the correct insulation will help increase the comfort and lower the energy use of the building.